When we look back on our lives, what do we hope to see? For one man, the call to service meant making a real change in the lives of the people of Boston. The people have a reputation for being smart and strong, and they have little tolerance for empty rhetoric. Mayor Thomas Menino knows this. As a Boston City Councilor for 10 years and then at the helm as mayor for the past 20 years, he knew his work had to be hallmarked by real change, real progress. So he resolved to improve the city. And the results came in, washing over a city like a cool wave, reaching into parched, neglected neighborhoods with new life and new hope. There are new office towers downtown, revitalized regions such as Roxbury's Dudley Square, growth in the North and South Ends, and Longwood Medical Center, greener building codes and public transportation, affordable housing, and safer neighborhoods. And with these improvements have come jobs, thousands across the city, 2,300 in the Innovation District alone. Located on South Boston's waterfront, the Seaport District was an industrial area nearly devoid of direction. But Mayor Menino breathed life into it, and the region blossomed with its convention center, 90 large and small companies, high-end restaurants, and a museum. And as jobs and housing have flourished, Mayor Menino has remained committed to workforce development and job skill training as the cornerstone of future success. A key initiative began in 1998, when Mayor Menino established the Mayor's Office of New Bostonians to meet the needs of the growing and changing immigrant and newcomer communities in Boston. The office has been nationally recognized as a model in assisting newcomers to overcome barriers and challenges, including workforce development training. The Office of New Bostonians led to the English for New Bostonians project, which funds English for Speakers of Other Languages programs in the community and enables 1,000 students to attend classes annually. His advocacy and leadership did not stop there. In a 2001 address, Menino called the skills gap one of the most critical issues the Northeast region faced in workforce development and a desire to build one of the best prepared workforces in America. Despite a slowing economy in the wake of the dot-com bust, Menino worked diligently with the business community and created public-private partnerships that led to millions of dollars being set aside for skills training programs, English language learning, and grant money for employers to upgrade the skills of entry-level employees. His commitment carried into 2003, when Mayor Menino joined with the Boston Foundation on a new five-year workforce development initiative designed to keep Boston and the region on a forefront of national workforce development issues. In June of this year, Mayor Menino and Governor Deval Patrick announced a first-of-its-kind partnership between the city and state to connect education and careers. Known as the Roxbury, Massachusetts Advanced Polytech Pathway, ROXMAP, the program invites local vocational students to enroll directly at Roxbury Community College. After graduation, they connect with local employers in high-demand careers, such as healthcare, information technology, and life sciences. Mayor Menino also recently announced a new blended online learning environment called Boston X. The program works in partnership with Harvard and MIT, and it invites online learners to use neighborhood community centers for computer skills training, career counseling, and contact with university and community college faculty, staff, and graduate students. Now, in an unprecedented fifth term, Menino is more vigorous than ever in his determination to bring the city to its fullest potential. Throughout his time in office, he has advocated tirelessly for job training, saying there is, quote, no better investment you can make in people than in helping families climb the ladder to economic success. Boston has had its share of champions, but none have devoted themselves so selflessly to this great city as Mayor Menino. When we look back on our lives, what do we hope to see? Being a nice guy is okay, but what do you stand for? What have you accomplished in your career. That's what I always keep in my back mind. What have I done to improve the city of Boston? It's not about rhetoric. It's about what have you done?